know more about uh, the landing page and it will take you to the platform which is the teachable platform so we have numerous questions in the last week that we first launched this on the 11th of may who is this course for this course i want to again say it's a basic course which tunes you to this speciality of sleep medicine so yes initially we did mention technicians uh, but we've got a lot of requests from doctors nurses other paramedical staff who want to enter this field and uh, it has made us think again and say that this is a basic course in sleep medicine not putting a tag or a label that it's for technicians it could be anybody because the basics are same for all professionals who want to enter this field from whichever line of work that you may be in so anyone who wants to either start their career or uh please kindly keep yourself on uh, video off you know so this is for all those doctors nurses sleep technicians neuro technicians respiratory technicians uh and those who also want to start so either you may be in a field related to medical or paramedical or you want to come into this line but yes there should be some science background with this so what is this course this has also generated a lot of questions so i will address some questions now but at the end of the session we will again go through some questions if people are still not able to follow uh this course has two components a theory component and a practical component the theory has eight modules and we have given this over a period of four months and i'll explain what that man that means so coming to the theory part the theory has eight modules these are recorded modules and the topics are here so this is the role of sleep professionals basics of sleep which will tell you about the different stages and the role and the functions the current classification of sleep disorders how does one interview a patient with a sleep disorder measurement of sleep that is the polysomnography pap titration how do you look at a sleep study how do you make a sleep study report and certain things like which one is should be concerned when you are handling these equipments the patient control center emergence started uh, the course will be starting as of now this week uh, but giving people four months that is june july august and september four months duration of module for you so it is to run as and at your convenience so once you log in you will get access to this theory which you can do when you want to whatever time you choose whatever day you choose you want to finish one module in one day you you can do it and whatever okay and that's the how it will go then coming to the practical the practical is total of 10 hours uh, we have kept in mind that the people are working professionals so we've thought that we would keep it on a saturday and sunday the dates that we have decided now to keep it away from the sera and the holidays is 10th and 11th of october if there is any change you will get ample notice and if there is for this so what will happen in the practicals the practicals are also online they are not on site so many people are asking that do i have to travel there do i have to stay there no no it is a online but the difference being that this will be a live session the theory are recorded sessions the practical will be a live session so what will happen there are these are the topics for the practicals first of foremost is a history taking so there will be a role play we will go through this at how should we ask patients uh, please all participants get on your videos off please uh you are also going to learn about preparing a patient for a sleep study uh demonstration of equipments and sensors the hook up that means connecting all the sensors for a sleep study 
How do you perform a sleep study? Show you about titration, troubleshooting, and documentation. And this is going to be the practical session. So at the end of this course, what would you know or what should you know is that you should know the basics of sleep. You should be familiar with the sleep disorders. You should be familiar with the types of sleep studies, how to perform titration, and what does a sleep study report look like? And that's why I re-emphasize, reiterate that and repeat that this is a basic course, like a foundation for anyone who wants to enter this field. We will have future courses which will go along. What will be the mode of assessment? The assessment will be MCQs, which will be given at the end of the course. And again, this will be an online system. And what will happen on completion of the course? On completion of the course, you will receive a certificate that you have participated. So we, there will be two grades in your assessment. One is those that they have attended all the modules, the theory and the practical, and have at least got more than 50% of the marks. So they would be given that you have participated in this course, and this will be by the Sleep Medicine Institute, a division of the Neurology and Sleep Center. However, if you get more than 70%, you would get a certificate saying that you have completed the basic course in sleep medicine. What about doubt clearing session? So the lot of people see, unlike a live classroom or a face-to-face -face classroom where students can get up, ask a question, and we can clear the doubt, I agree the online system has, a diff and especially recorded systems, have a different protocol. But we will provide ample support for those who have any doubts. So how will this be done? At the end of each module, you will get a form to fill and you can submit that form on email with any of your doubts and you will get the responses back. But there is, now this all depends on the number of students, uh, the number of questions that we get, but we will create an online community or a platform that if sometimes what happens in a classroom that one person asks for a question, but that same question is also in the minds of other people. So keeping that in mind, there will be an online community where you will have access to the questions and the answers. So if your colleague has asked a question, got the answer, it might benefit you also. So we will introduce those along the course once you get into the course. Um, there's also been a suggestion by a person that we could also do something like a Facebook live session. That means we collect, if there are 15 questions, 10 questions, 20 questions, we fix a time. So during these four months, maybe we could do two of such sessions, but you follow our Facebook pages and you will get emails about the time that this will happen. Usually will be in the evenings so that it will be told to you that how to, uh, that you will log in and you will get answers to your questions. The launch offer, uh, as there are eight modules of theory, two modules for practicals, the fee is 10,000, but for this initial batch that we are starting, we have decided and the time that we are in that this launch offer will offer a flat 50% discount. So that is 5,000 rupees of all inclusive. Um, the last date for enrollment was today or 25th actually, sorry, but I am extending it for another one week. So we will close enrollments for this program on the 31st of May. So thus you have another one week we have given. And that's why we said that people who are still thinking about it and wanting to join should, can join if they want. And the course Theoretically, we'll start from June uh, 1st. Uh, this is what the platform will look like and you will get uh, material and you will get your modules. So how does one register? You can go to this, the Sleep Medicine Institute, the smi.neurologysleepcenter.com. 
From there, it will take you to a link. There, there is a payment for an online system, which is an integrated razor pay. If you have any problems, feel free to email, contact us on WhatsApp, we'll help you. And once you have made the payment, you will get access to the course, and which is a, another page, which is called as www.sleepmedicineinstitute.com. What about future? What are the plans for the future? So we have already the plans for the future. Uh, there will be another course which will be called as a course in sleep medicine level two. The difference being that in that course, there will be more depth in the physiology, more depth in the pathophysiology of the disorders. Each disorder, obstructive sleep apnea, insomnia, parasomnia, narcolepsy, will be considered in greater detail as separate modules. So that's the plan for the next one. We also have had requests and we are working on separate modules for sleep medicine for dentists, which would be smaller modules, maybe four to five. And similarly, pediatric sleep medicine. We've also got requests for that. And that modules are also already in preparation. Uh, we have faculty from India and overseas who are going to be submitting these modules. I have also thought of some individual modules, like some people want to learn only about scoring. So there would be a separate module for scoring. Some people want to learn only about the relationship between sleep and memory. Some want to learn only about how to improve PAP compliance. What about comorbid disorders, cardiac problems, and OSA, how to manage, how to set up a successful business practice, how to manage a sleep center. So these would be independent modules, maybe 60 minutes to 90 minutes in duration. So this is the plan for the future. Um, I am also open to, and I would really like to receive suggestions if people have that what is it that they would want to learn and we are extremely will be delighted to incorporate all those suggestions into the modules which we are planning because this platform um, is in our desire that we improve the basics and the advanced and improve sleep medicine facility as a whole in this country so please feel free to give suggestions and we would definitely look into those suggestions that's all for now. So I again thank you for um, allowing us this opportunity and that we can work together to make sleep medicine a better facility in this country. These are the few of the experts who have contributed, but I can tell you that I have about another five and six experts who are already on the panel and who will be uh, submitting modules in the future. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, now I will... Uh, take on any questions that are uh, Matsula, you can just make me the any questions that people have asked? Uh, yes, ma'am. We have a few questions mm -hmm. uh, on the chat box. One is uh, from Ms. Sadhana. She is saying that uh, does that mean lecture modules will be activated by 1st of June? No, lecture modules will be activated now from the 18th. Uh, okay, we have another question from Dr. Sely. She is asking, mm -hmm. will the scoring be taught in detail with ample practice on PSG reports? So this, like I said, is a basic um, course in sleep medicine. So you will get an overview of the scoring and you will get some samples, but I, I, I'm not sure that we can, because scoring by itself is a separate module will be available. But if you are not familiar, this will give you at least a lot of familiarity. Uh, okay, okay, we have uh, another question from Dr. Sally only that she's asking about the next step or uh, as she has already logged in. So, mm -hmm. I think the further step will be that we will be unlocking the courses after, uh, uh, like yeah. after today, and uh, people can able to access the course. Mm -hmm. 
okay uh, another question by mohit sina she uh, he is asking ma'am can we we can have an online system wherein we can send code psgs for checking uh, uh so that we can put your request down uh, how will we do that what will happen in the future we will definitely let you know so write his name and we will communicate to him okay sure ma'am uh, also we have a few questions compiled me and my colleague uh, miss nidhi so which you have already answered on your slides uh, but still i'm uh, going to run through if uh, people might have who have joined late they must be having these mm -hmm. questions so my questions uh, is is there a fixed time to attend the theory session so there is no fixed time to attend the theory session the theory sessions are recorded sessions and once you get access to it you can do it whatever time you feel whatever location in the home you feel that's so it's not a fixed time okay ma'am uh, another question uh, practical will be online or at the site practical will be online not at the site uh nidhi uh, can you take the other two questions please mm, yes so what uh, what will be the mode of assessment so the mode of assessment will be an mcq based and you will get questions with from options which will be delivered to you at the end of the whole program and so either there would be a pass 50% or there would be above 70% and based on that you would get a separate certificate okay and uh, how to clear the uh, doubts how to clear the doubts so doubts i have dealt with it but i will repeat it again doubts there are two ways that you will get a form to be filled at the end of each module you fill the form and submit it to us whatever the doubts are we will try and answer them back to you or the second option would be that there would be in this duration of eight modules we would do twice some live session and in that live session we will discuss all questions asked by everybody so that everybody can benefit from each other's questions uh, so i can send at any time like these questions you can send any time so if that's by email you send the questions any time that you want but we will get answers on either a live session or individually to you but almost once in about 15 to 20 days not that when the question comes in the answer won't come in just 24 hours Okay, ma'am. We have two more questions. One is from Miss Arti. She is asking, "What is the name of certificate?" And at the end of the session, like, what? So this uh, course has been designed, prepared, conceptualized, thought of, dreamt of by me, um, and I am running the center called as a neurology sleep center. But the teaching part is another subdivision called as a sleep medicine institute. so as of now you will get a certificate from sleep medicine institute a division of neurology and sleep center which will be signed by the director of neurology sleep center and some of the main founding and uh, faculties okay ma'am uh, mr j kishan is asking you are having print out to print versions of all these modules in form of a book if yes then what is will be the price for that no no so now as of now there is no uh, print printed version of these modules no okay uh, uh, i don't know the name but uh, someone has asked just to confirm the course duration is over 4 months starting as of today when is the assessment period yeah so we've given a uh, an ample time actually you don't even need more than 2 months or 3 months but i thought that people who are working we don't know what situation is going to be post this lockdown so there's enough time uh the so that's the duration it's 4 months and what was the second question and when is the assessment assessment, yes. assessment will be in october after the practicals okay uh, mr rakesh uh, is having a question uh, rakesh either you can write the question on the chat box or you can unmute yourself and ask the question Uh, somebody also asked the course will start from june 1st now the course is actually going to open up on 18th uh, as of today when you log get permit you log in to teachable you will get the module straight i'm just saying june 1st for 
allowing people to enter into this till the May 31st. Uh, Sorry, Mr. Rakesh, if you are uh, listening to us, kindly unmute yourself and ask your question. So I think we have uh, addressed most of the questions now. He's saying no, nothing, no question, Rakesh is saying. Um, so if anybody still has any doubts, they are welcome to write to us or WhatsApp to us or call and we will clear your doubts. And like I said, if anybody has any suggestions, those are also welcome and what you would like in the future modules or something more in detail. And I hope um, you all enjoy this as much as we did and I'm still trying to see that if I can add some more things to your modules to make them more interactive. We will also have separate modules for some case discussions and uh, hopefully the first batch who joins, we will try our best to give you some more benefits as we go along. And uh, so there's some cases and some things that you have which are an issue, we'll try and see how we can help you and solve you, uh, help you solve those issues so that you get maximum that you should out of these uh, online courses. So I will, uh, there's some questions, otherwise we will end this. Download document for theory modules. Uh, Dr. Sally, if you can write on the email to really what would you like? Um, Download document. Okay, what we can do is maybe uh, give you a short uh, synopsis. I, I'll, I'll try and uh, make that and uh, give some paragraphs or something. Okay, I, that's why I just write that, that they would like some uh, uh, material about, in short, about the modules. Okay. Okay. Uh, so then we will end this session. I think we are done and um, we will touch base intermittently and definitely have some live sessions uh, where maybe the students can also all grow as a community and then we can be on video with each other sometime or the other. Thank you again uh, for this opportunity. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, everyone.